Agapiti Fili, dear friends, I am sincerely sorry that I cannot be with you today in this amazing area which is so rich in natural beauty and cultural heritage. We must protect this rich beauty, this glorious environment, and we must keep it clean to pass it on to our children and to the future generations. The focus of my political party, the Ecologic Democratic Party, ÖDP, is to protect the environment and to tackle climate change. Scientists have been telling us since the 70s that global warming is man-made and is happening too fast. We must stop it, we must slow it down, otherwise our ecosystems will change and this will have dramatic consequences, droughts and or heavy rainfalls will be on our everyday agenda. Nature will be destroyed, water shortage results, to name but a few. But it is not only politicians who need to set the right parameters. It is also up to every single one of us to help to preserve our planet. Tourism is a wonderful thing. It helps to broaden the mind, to discover beauty of our planet, of Europe and of, our wonder, of your wonderful valley. It gives employment to people in the regions. But the tourism that we experience at the moment tends to, to go in the wrong direction. When tourism turns into mass tourism, it soon begins to be a huge problem for the ecosystem of the places being visited. It destroys nature and it can change the character of small villages. Dear friends, it is time to face the problem of mass tourism in order to protect our nature and therefore to ensure our livelihood. Let me introduce you to a new idea as how to tackle the problem. We need a limitation in visitor numbers, only the right number of people per season in order not to destroy the ecosystem. A kind of lottery with a limited number of places. If a lottery if all lottery tickets are used up, people can visit the following year. Lottery, by the way, was an instrument to guarantee democracy in ancient Greece, parallel to elections. I know lottery sounds a little awkward in this sector, but for some very valuable and sensitive ecosystems, I do, do not see any other solution at the moment. As long as people have not learned to have more respect for nature and its surroundings. This would also make the visited places more special and more valuable, since not everyone is able to access them at any one time. In the coming years, and as history has recently shown us with COVID-19, we need to pay close attention to environmental protection and to the development of sustainable alternative tourism, especially in areas such as yours, the Achelos Valley, special emphasis should be given to this type of tourism model. The advantage of your area call for any kind of alternative tourism, which also preserves the rare beauty of environment. Efkaristo, Poli and Yassas. <laughs>